Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 4, lesson 3 Divide by a two digit divisor. You know that, guys, this is page number 263. You know that, guys, when we divide two numbers, the number which is inside the bigger one is known as the dividend. And the smaller number outside is the divisor. And here is the remainder at the end. And the answer of division is the quotient. Now, when we divide with the two digits divisor, we only take two digits from the dividend to divide it. Okay? Until, unless we have the first two digits less than the divisor, so we include the third one also. But in this case, the first two digits, they are more than the divisor, so we don't need the third digit now. Okay, what we do now, we have to find out 76 times what will give me 83 or less than that. So we know that 76 times one is 76. 76 times two, it will be more than 83. So we take it times one. 76. Then the next step we minus. 6 minus 3, not possible. We take 1 from here. 13 minus 6, 7. Then we bring the last 6 down, the last digit. And 76 times 1, 76 again. So 76 minus 76 equals 0. So the quotient is 11. Next page. See this, guys. Uh, this is the estimate of 751, 750, and 30, when you divide 25. Okay, why we take estimate? To get help in finding the actual quotients. 30 and 75. So, we, we don't need the first digit now, because the first two digits are more than the divisor. 30 times 1, 30. 30 times 2, 60. 30 times 3, 90. 90 is more than 75. We can't take that. 30 times 2 is 60. 75 minus 60, 15. Then we bring the 1 down. Now we'll think 30 times what is equal to 151 or less than that. 30 times 3, 90. 30 times 4, 120. And 30 times 5, 150, which is close to our required number. And then we minus, that is 1, so remainder is 1. The quotient is 25, remainder 1. Okay, question here in guided practice, the estimate of 176, 180, and the estimate of 16 is 20. When we divide having the number zeros, we can cancel the zeros with each other. Okay, and the remaining zeros, we remove them and keep it aside and put it back in our answer. But we cancel one zero with one zero and no zero left behind. So 18 divided 2 is 9. Okay, now we take the first two digits. So 16 times 1, 16. 17 minus 16 equals 1. Then we bring the 6 down. And 16 times 1, 16, so 16 minus 16, 0. The quotient is 11, which is close to the estimate of 9. The next page is independent practice, guys. You have to solve all these questions by yourself and like this, guys. You will solve it complete, okay, like this, not only the answers. And then you can match your answers from this video. Okay, next page. Mr. Calzada buys flags for his store. Each flag costs $28. How many flags can he buy for $350? So you divide 350 with 28. Here we divide it. 12 flags and $14 left over. The area of a rectangle is 384 square feet and the width is 24 feet. 
find the length. You know that the formula for area, area is equal to length times width. They give us the area, 384 square feet, okay, and they give us the width, 24. We have to find out the length, okay. So for that, you have to divide 384 with 24. Here it is, 16. So it is 16 feet. Now, Prina uploads 292 pictures to her online album. Her online album shows 12 pictures on each page. So you divide 292 with 12. You get 24 and still the remainder is 4. It means 4 pictures are left over. So you need another page for these remaining 4 pictures. So 25 pages. In 31 days, Gavin's dog sleeps 496 hours. If she sleeps the same number of hours each night, how many hours does she sleep per week? Write equation to solve using H as an unknown. So you have to divide 496 with 31 equals to H. They give us it, okay, which is equal to our answer. When you divide, uh, H is equal to 16. 16 times 7, 112 hours per week. Why divide by 7? Because 7 days... In a week and they ask us per week uh, write a division problem with a question that is greater than 40 but less than 50 here it is you can write others also give me another example in the comment box guys about this question write another division problem with a question that is greater than 20 but less than 25 here it is you can write others also and you give me your examples in the comment box. What is a standard procedure for dividing by a two-digit divisor? Divide the tens first, then the ones. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saab. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.